Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Todd back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new Mystic Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady gameplay. Tracy? What? What's the story? How about a little hustle? I'm not taking it easy. You think the world revolves around you? I got you? a lot of teeth to brush. You're Before we dive into that, Shout out to my guy Clutch City Diamond for letting me hop on his account to make this game play possible. If you are new to the channel and have not yet, make sure to go smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 80,000 subscribers. 6'8", 210 pounds, 93 ball, 90 driving deck, 87 ball handle, 81 block, 82 steal, 86 perimeter, 79 interior, all decent enough stats, 69 offensive rebound with a 72 defensive rebound, 90 speed as well as an 86 lateral quickness for T-Mac. Tendency wise, 96 driving dunk tendency, which is immaculate. Defense tendencies little, leave a little bit to be desired. Six Hall of Famers, Posterizer, Binder, Slithery, Dead Eye, Sniper, and Volume Shooter. So, some very good Hall of Famers. 37 on gold. Catch, shoot, quarter specialist, difficult shots. Does come with ankle, breaker, glue hands, diamond, pogo stick, lucky seven. Limitless, Chef, both good badges. Bailout, downhill, near third, quick first step, space critter, tight handles, and buckable. Bullet pass for limitless takeoff, fast twitch, and hustler. Now he is gonna be get, have those five badge spots. Now what badge slots or what badge would I give to him? Ankle braces is my preference. Hot zone hunter, another one of my preference. Handles for days, and then I mean it's really up to you. You can give him post lockdown tilts defender if you want to. I'm looking more interceptor intimidator. Those badges, same thing with clamps. So he does lack, lack a lot of badges. When it comes down to it, the five that I personally would give him: pick dodger clamps you got to be careful probably interceptor and then i'd probably end up going with handles for days and ankle braces i know the hot zone hunter is a good badge but quite honestly does t-mac really need it i don't think so looking at tracy mcgrady here in shooter i know he's got slasher dribble style and a lot of people are gonna be like ty he can't move with slasher dribble style i'm gonna kind of say uh you're wrong i think this t-mac can move now, whether you want shifty, quick, fundamental, whatever it is, I get it. Like, I fully get it, and I fully understand if you do want those badges or, the, or those, those you know, dribble styles. But I think a lot of people see Slasher, oh my gosh, he's unusable. That is not the case. I promise you guys that's not the case. Considering Vince Carter was my backup shooting guard before T-Mac, T-Mac's probably going to be my, you know, starting shooter. I moved Clay to the bench. But before that, I mean, I've used Vince. Vince was fine for me. Not everybody's got to be able to burst. Not everybody's got to be able to move that crazy. And I think a lot of people are just, you know, it's they're not really taking a moment to realize what else Tracy McGrady gives you. Guys, remember, the dude's 6'8". He can get every defensive badge that you probably need on him. And that's the thing. He's tall. He's lengthy. He's going to be a good defender. Offensively, he's going to be an absolute problem because he's 6'8 with Hall of Fame blinders, I think is what I saw He's going to be an absolute problem. And a lot of people are just going to say, eh, he's not that good because of, you know, he doesn't have a good dribble style. It's not, it, it, that's not all that matters. T-Mac is going to be incredible. We can check out the full court dribble six for you guys here. So you guys know what you're getting yourself into. Not great full court dribble six, but again, it's Trace McGrady. And I don't think he needs anything special. Now on next gen, the Tracy McGrady base is okay, right? It's, I mean, overall, it's, I, th I still think it's pretty good. Like, I think it's a pretty good base. On current gen, I think it's all you need, right? I, I, it, would it on quick be maybe, you know, what you want? I mean, maybe, but on current gen, this release is perfect. Next gen, obviously, I, again, I would like it just to be a little bit faster. But again, on current gen, I think it's it's quick enough, right? This release on normal timing is going to be just fine on current gen. Remember, 6'8". That's something you can't forget. T-Max is going to be 6'8". I know the dribble style is what everybody's going to be talking about. But I'm, I'm here to tell you, I I don't want to hear anything about the dribble style in my comments because I used Vince Carter for how long and I had a lot of success with him. Attacking the rim, we know T-Max is going to be incredible. My opponent here does have a solid team, but I don't see anybody on the court who can stop Tracy McGrady. So that's perfect. Chill, dog, just back up. I know this is just Isaac on this account. I just know it is. I just know it is. That's fine, though. Oh, my gosh. I just know it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, T-Mac. Oh my god. <laughs> my fault. I got to time it. I got to time it better. I will say, like, Hannah's for Days is a needed badge for the card. Hey, man. Hey, man. It doesn't have to look pretty. 6 8. Let's make it happen, T-Mac.
Oh yeah. Now what? Now what? Now y'all are stunned that with slash your dribble style, T Mac is an absolute bucket getter. So now what? Oh yeah, Hakeem. That's a tough one, Hakeem. Stop leaving T Mac. I don't know why you're leaving T Mac, but stop it. It's not a good idea to do. Nobody's trying to watch you sweat the game. I promise. Nobody, nobody trying to watch that. Back up. Enjoy the show. You hit the screen, I go the other way, and it's that simple. Go dunk on somebody, T-Mac. Go dunk on somebody, T-Mac. Just go dunk on somebody, T-Mac. Look at Tracy McGrady beating the first quarter buzzer. He was exhausted. Still knocks it down. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. This is an incomplete Tracy McGrady. No clamps. You're looking at a card. I mean, he doesn't have some of the badges I still want to give him, right? When you're looking at defensively pick dodge or offensively handles for days. Too easy. It's too easy for Tracy McGrady, who now has 19 points and has missed one shot. Thank you, board. I got to green that one. 8% got to be green. Just like without... Oh my goodness, good D. Without some of the badges that he needs, like handles for days, he just gets so tired. It is crazy to me. Just shot it. I shot that one. That's crazy. Oh, what is this? He's too tired. I need to get him out of the game. Ew, you shot that? That's crazy. I gave you all that time to close out to T-Mac, and you still decided you didn't want to. I don't know why. I literally gave you 9,000 opportunities to close out to bro, and you didn't do it. What you gonna do? Look at Giannis. He playing nine lanes with one body. It's crazy to me. Knockdown. Knockdown. They made me shoot a full because he is tired. Look at the D though. Good D, run. Oh, get it to him. Get it to him. Set the feet. Green. Look at Tracy, man. He got 25. He got 25 of these things. I mean, he's missed four shots, but basically all of those shots outside of one four has been contested. Like, I'm not even mad at it. I'm not even mad at it. Hakeem is cleaning the glass up right now. T-Mac, I got a green. That's me, but another three ball for Tracy McGrady. Are you kidding me? Halftime box score for T-Mac, and what more could you want? He didn't do anything outside of score, but if he can do that well, he's going to stay on the court. We did get my opponent out of there opponent out of there in the early stages of that third quarter, and my, oh my, was I impressed with T-Mac. I'm not even trying to sit here and gas cards. That's not what I'm trying to do. But let's just do this. Let's just compare. 6'8 six, to 6'6. Six, six. That is a big difference at the shooting guard position. Three ball, obviously, Clay has the advantage, but... Who has a better release? I'd lean T-Mac. Some people might lean Clay. Clay overall defensively is better, but it's not by as much as you think. On ball, Clay's a way better defender, but off ball, give T-Mac the advantage. You give T-Mac some defensive badges, this card is a top shooting guard of the game. You guys don't think it's true? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Y'all don't have to think that, but when Trace McGrady starts at my shooting guard in the 250K qualifiers on Saturday, don't say I didn't tell you so. T-Mac is absolutely ridiculously good. In NBA 2K22, my team. Now, is he worth the empty upgrade from Klay Thompson? Probably not, depending on what T-Mac goes for. So don't pay a ridiculous amount for him. But I'm telling you, Trace McGrady is super, super tough. Let's get to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. 
have a blessed day.